Credit card points can be valuable when redeemed directly for airfare because you usually earn miles on the tickets purchased. Uh, most of the online booking portals, whether it's Chase Ultimate Rewards Travel, American Express Travel, uh, or through City Thank You Points, whenever they you use points to book a ticket based on how much it costs, generally what's happening is the credit card company is using usually a third-party vendor like Travelocity Powered Search Engine. They buy the ticket for you and then you're redeeming your points usually at about one cent per point. In the case of Chase Ultimate Rewards with the Sapphire Preferred, you're getting 1.25 cents per point, also with the ink cards. Uh, so TPG reader Phil tweeted, do you know if you book Delta flights through Chase Ultimate Rewards if you'll get MQDs all the time? I've started not to get MQDs on recent Ultimate Rewards tickets. The answer here is you should. I mean, in general, what Delta said is if you book a Delta flight and it's paid for it using cash, not Sky Miles, or, you know, in this case, uh, points, which the credit card company is essentially paying the airline through the travel agency cash, you should get MQDs. Now, we have seen several reports on Flyer Talk that as of late, a lot of tickets are not qualifying for medallion qualifying dollars when you book through Chase. Uh, you know, there's nothing in the rules that should preclude them. If this happens to you, I'd recommend contacting Delta, giving them the ticket number and saying, I got the MQMs, why did I not get the MQDs? I'd love to see anything official. We've reached out to Delta for a comment, and if uh, we have that, we will put it in the post below. But in general, you should be getting MQDs. Same thing with United Premium. From your qualifying dollars, just always double check what the fare class of the ticket is and make sure that it is a Delta or United uh, ticketed flight. If for some reason it's a Delta flight through Chase, but it's booked through uh, random code share with Virgin Atlantic, you won't get those um, qualifying dollars. So I'd always call up before you actually book, make sure you know what the fare class is and what the ticket stock is. So the first three digits of the ticket should be, in Delta's case, 006 to make sure that it counts towards those medallion qualifying dollars. So no big policy changes on our end, but just make sure that the, the fare class is eligible and it is actually on a Delta ticketed ticket. Uh, if anyone else has any experiences, please feel free to share in the comments. Any other questions, tweet us at The Points Guy and like us on Facebook.